Another option besides testicular sperm extraction combined with in vitro fertilization is to try to figure out in advance which men will actually have sperm in the testis. There's a relatively new technique called sperm mapping where uh, the testis can be mapped to see whether or not there are any sperm there. The advantage of this is that if sperm are found in certain locations, then later we can go back to those locations, look for sperm, and use those for in vitro fertilization uh, and injecting the sperm directly into the eggs. The procedure itself uh, sounds much worse than it is. It involves giving a local anesthetic, and then once the testis is numb, putting many needles in and aspirating out a little bit of tissue uh, in a grid. Then each one of those slides is looked at individually, and the question is, are there any sperm in those areas? If there are sperm, then the couple can proceed with the in vitro fertilization. The other advantage is that if there are no sperm found on this procedure, then the couple does not have to go through the in vitro fertilization. But just because there's no sperm in the ejaculate does not mean that they cannot go on to have biological children.